Welcome to another image. Today we're going to study about the concept of lead time via an image. Now, here I'm going to draw an image for you. Okay, how does the image come in our exams? Suppose this is the first point. Okay, and this first point marks the disease onset. That the disease has, like it has, the, the agent has entered in our body and disease has come in our body. Mein, okay? Then suppose, let's say this is point A. This is point B, this is point C and this is the final outcome. The outcome of any disease could be either recovery or it could be death or it could be prolonged survival, whatever. Take So now what is point A? Point A hota hai tumara, that point A is now the disease start ho chuka hai, but we do not have any signs and symptoms. So point A is the first possible point of diagnosis. Okay first possible point of detection that means even though i'm not having signs and symptoms will i be able to detect a disease or not so that is the first possible point what is point number b point number b hai critical point of diagnosis okay what is this critical point of diagnosis or critical point okay and point number C kya hai? when I start having signs and symptoms, so this is when I am actually having signs and symptoms. So this is usual time of diagnosis and this one over here is the outcome. Now, suppose somebody uh, has, it's, it's a smoker, is an alcoholic or eats a lot of fried food, junk food, okay? He is at a risk for developing any cardiovascular disease. Let's say diabetes usko ho sakta hai, ho sakta hai, theke? All right, now, if suppose, let's just, just an example, okay? So he can, or he can develop hypertension, any other disease he might be at risk of. So now, is it diabetes ke symptoms hote hai, polyphagia, polyuria, polydipsia? Can we detect diabetes even before that? So that is the point, first possible point of detection. Or we will only be able to detect diabetes at usual time when he actually presents with certain signs and symptoms. So the time when we can actually detect a disease at point A instead of point C. So the interval between point A and point C everybody is the lead time. That means we are leading in the detection. We are leading in early detection of the disease by this much time. By the time interval A and C. Instead of diagnosing the disease at C. I am able to diagnose it as A. So what is the advantage that I get? I will be able to, uh, like disease, agar mujhe baad mein janna tha, all right, when the person actually has the signs and symptoms and if I am able to detect the disease early, I can either prolong the survival, I can also help cure the disease, theke? so that is the concept of lead time. And what is this critical point? So there is a point between A and B everybody. This is known as the screening time. Screening time is the interval between point A and B. Now what is critical point? Like if you want to get an advantage out of a screening test, you must apply the test at least at point B. Wo hota hai critical point of diagnosis. After point B, if I apply a test to diagnose, we say, I might not gain substantial advantage. Why we are de doing screening? We all know we want to find out this hidden portion of the iceberg by means of screening test. Hai na? It's applied on apparently healthy population and we want to find out this hidden portion filter out all those who are likely to develop the disease so right now they don't they appear healthy they are apparently healthy but they might not actually be healthy so we want to diagnose we want to find out this hidden portion so that we can provide them timely treatment and either prolong their survival or um, completely cure the disease right so the lead time hota hai, you will only be asked what is lead time it is the time interval between as per this diagram between between point A and C. Alright. And second one you will be asked what is screening time. So this is the time interval between point A and B everybody. Okay. Between point A and B. So this is the concept of lead time everybody. 
Guys, every morning at 9 a.m. I take free classes on the Unacademy app. Currently, we are doing PYQ series for NEET PG 2022. So you must download the app if you haven't and attend my free sessions. If you like PSM classes, you can also take the various batches and learn from your other wonderful educators which are starting on the Unacademy platform. FMG 2022 comprehensive batches starting from 22nd uh, of December. It's a six months batch. I'll be taking PSM and also test and discussion for NEET PG 2022 is starting and I'll be taking PSM for that as well. For any batch course guys you can use my code PSM live and get a 10% off. Thank you so much.